Time to generate some electricity to power this LED. I first try by just connecting the LED. But even after putting in fresh cold water, ice, and hot water, and waiting a little, that isn't good enough to light this LED. That's where this circuit comes in. It's called a Joule Thief circuit. Here it's being powered by a battery whose voltage is so low, it's considered dead. The Joule Thief stores up the power from the battery, and once it's built up a bunch, it dumps it all at once into the LED in a quick, more powerful burst. Enough to provide the needed voltage and current to light it up. And then it builds up some more, and dumps it again. The LED is powered only during the powerful bursts, but it looks like it's always on. So I connect the Joule Thief circuit to the Pelche module. I again put cold water, and ice in one container and boiling hot water in the other. Sure enough, 12 seconds later, when enough heat has made its way up to the Pelche module, the Pelche module is generating enough electricity to light the LED, with the help of the Joule Thief circuit. As time goes by, more and more heat moves from the hot water to the cold water, warming the cold side and cooling the hot side. And after 15 minutes and 21 seconds, the Pelche module no longer puts out enough voltage and current and the LED no longer lights up. One last thing. The Peltier module I found in the water dispenser is a TEC type, a thermoelectric cooler, designed for cooling, not generating electricity. It can handle only up to around 100 to 110 Celsius, or 212 to 230 Fahrenheit, before being damaged. For serious electricity generation, you'll want a TEG type, a thermoelectric generator. They can handle up to 200 to 300 Celsius, or 400 to 500 Fahrenheit, 